Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to convert a macOS Monterey installer file to an ISO image. So the reason why you might want to do this is if you are going to be creating a macOS virtual machine because you'll need an ISO file to do that. So it's actually not as complicated as people might think. You just have to run a whole lot of terminal commands in order to make this happen. So let's go ahead and get started showing you how to do this. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, of course, is you're going to need to download the Monterey installer. And you can easily do that from the Mac App Store. So that is another thing you need to think about. If you're going to be running a Mac OS virtual machine on a Windows computer, well, you're going to actually have to have a Mac in order to create this because you download it from the Mac App Store, as you can see right here. Now, you can go to Apple's website, in case you were wondering, and you can type in uh, something like download Mac OS into Google, and you're going to see this link pop up that says how to get old versions of Mac OS, and this is where you can find some of the other installs, but just keep note that these right here require the Mac App Store, but these will download a DMG file. So if you would want the DMG file and convert that to an ISO, that'll actually save you uh, a few steps there. So yeah, you can download them several ways, but really the best way to do it is to use a Mac if it is available. But anyways, once you get your Monterey install completed, it should pop up in your launch pad, like right there. It should also pop up in the uh, applications folder in your finder, so make sure you see it uh, in there as well. Now, once you get that installed, we're going to go through a bunch of different terminal commands in order to make this happen. So I have a list of them right here that I'm just going to be copying and pasting into my terminal. So let's go ahead and open the terminal up and we're logged into our terminal now and this is what you're going to do. So the first one here is going to create an empty disk. So you want to copy this command right here. And I'm going to put these in the description below so you don't have to just type them out. You can just copy and paste them like I'm doing right here. So this first one, like I said, it's going to create an empty Monterey disk. Now, these commands, uh, this first one here takes a little bit to complete. Uh, you're going to hear the fans creating because what it's doing is it's creating a 16 gigabyte empty disk because the Monterey install is quite large. So it's creating that empty one there and we're going to go ahead and wait for the terminal to get that done. Like I said, it's going to take a little bit. And while that's loading, we can look at some of these commands and you can kind of tell what's going on here. So like I said, we're going to create a disk, right? going to be titled Monterey and then we're going to attach the Monterey DMG so that's going to allow us to mount the disk and then we're going to create our install media so you can see we're taking the Monterey.app and we're going to put it into that empty uh, or the disk that we just mounted I should say. and then once that's done we can unmount that and then we can turn that disk into a CDR file and then convert it to an ISO so Pretty straightforward there, and you can obviously change, you know, where Monterey is to whatever version you want. Okay, so we now have our DMG file created, so our Monterey file there. Now we can go ahead and mount that disk with this next command here. So we'll go ahead and paste it in, hit enter. So you can see behind my terminal window, I got a bunch of stuff plugged in, but you can see right there, Monterey. Uh, DMG disk is created right there. Now the third one here is we're going to create the install media. So this is where we're actually going to put the Monterey application installer onto the disk. So we can put that and since this is a sudo command it's going to want your password uh, to your computer. So same one you used to log in with. And this command here can take a little bit of time to complete as well, so uh, you can see the progress there in the terminal. So, Okay, so now that that's done, you actually could have seen the progress bar happen there, so 
pretty cool. Now what we're going to do is we're going to unmount that disk image file. So take that, paste, and as you can see, it's now unmounted, it's disappeared from the desktop. And now what we're going to do is we're going to convert that file that we created into a CDR file. So on a Mac, CDR is the equivalent to an ISO file. So there you go, CDR right there. And you have to go from CDR to ISO. So that's just how it is. This command is going to take a little bit to complete as you see. So we'll go ahead and let it do that. All right, we have our CDR file right there. And last but not least, we're going to turn that into an ISO file. So just paste it in and it's as simple as that. And then your ISO is completed. And the last thing we're going to do is remove the temporary DMG file that we were using to create all that. And it's done. So that's everything guys. That's how you create a macOS Monterey ISO file using terminal and the installer app. So yeah, you can now use that file to put it in VirtualBox or VMware Fusion or Parallels, whatever you use and create yourself a virtual machine. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any problems, leave them in the comments down below. Remember all these commands are in the description for you. So you can easily copy and paste them. That's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.